Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So this is my first update for Project Wax. So I had started this project about a month ago and I had picked out 11 candles. I have a lot of, I love burning candles. I have a lot of candles and I kind of got a big back, back stock of them. So I really just wanted to stop buying candles and just kind of use up what I have. And with this project, I have 11 candles, as I said, and I don't want to purchase any more candles until I use all of these up. So I will show you the progress that I've made. In the past month, I have finished two candles and I've made some progress on some other ones. So I will show you everything now. So the first candle that I completely finished up was one of the Bath & Body Works three wick candles. This is in the Marshmallow Fireside scent. When I had started the project, I had used about half of this and this is now completely used up. I actually used this up pretty quickly. Um, I think because I had started this like the towards the end of January and I did end up finishing this in January. This was in my January empties. So this is completely used up. And with my Bath and Body Works candles, I like burning one at a time. So I'll like completely use it up and then move on to the next one. I don't like having lots of them like going at a time. It's just for me, I like using one at a time. So once I finished this up, then I started burning the Spice Apple Toddy candle from Bath and Body Works. Um, I'm trying to do, for the, especially the Bath and Body Works candles, I guess for all of them, I'm trying to like burn them kind of seasonally. So I got this one in fall. So this is one I like, this is more like fall winter scent. So I was burning this first and I had already started on it when I had started this project. So naturally that made sense to focus on that one first. And then this is a very kind of Christmas sort of winter scent. So I wanted to burn this next versus keeping it more towards spring. But I really do like this scent. Um, it's very, like, I love apple scents, but it has a little bit of spice -y notes to it, so it's kind of perfect for winter. But I just finished burning this one up. So these are the only two that I completely finished. So I started with 11 candles, and now I have 9 candles left for this project. And I think that's pretty typical for me. I think I go about through two candles a month. So I'm estimating that this project will probably last about four more months. Um, the goal here wasn't to burn through all these like super quickly. I kind of want to use them at my normal pace. It's more to prevent me from buying more candles. Um, and actually I was shopping this past weekend and I did go into Bath and Body Works. They were having like $12 candle sale. And I'm like, well, I still want to go in. So I smelled some of the candles, but I didn't feel that like need to buy. I was just like, I know I have a lot at home. I know I'm doing this project wax. I don't really need anything. And the thing with Bath and Body Works and their sales, I don't know if it, I feel like it wasn't always the case that they were always having sales, but now I feel like at least once a month they're having a candle sale. So I don't feel like if I don't buy stuff now, like I'm totally missing out. I feel like I can wait a few months and then once I've gone through all these, I'll feel much better when I'm actually um, buying more candles and maybe we'll buy less candles and candles that I will know I will use within that particular season. So haven't broken my no candle buy, but I did look at candles and there was like nothing. I mean, there were good scents, but there was nothing that I was like, I need to have that. I didn't have that feeling that I need to get stuff. I was able to go in the store, look at things, and then leave with nothing. So that was really great. So used up two candles, have nine left. So once I finished Spice Apple Toddy, then I started burning, and I just started burning this one, but this is the Peach Bellini candle. It was part of Bath & Body Works. They have like their New Year's kind of collection. I don't think this is particularly New Year's. They have this set all year long, but it does have the kind of New Year's-esque type of packaging. But this smelled really, really good. I've only burned it once, but I love this set so good. I love anything peach. So I definitely will be enjoying using this. So this one um, definitely should be used up by the next update. So that is the one I'm currently working on. 
So that is it for my Bath and Body Works candles. Um, used two of them up and then started working on the next one. As far as the other brands of candles, I do have some progress with those. So I did burn my arugula candle. And this is almost, if you can kind of tell, there's probably only like one burn left of this. I just had like a inspiration or like I really wanted to burn this one day. And I think it was when I was watching like the Grammys and I was watching like the pre-show of the Grammys and the red carpet of the Grammys. So I only burn it once, but I was burning it for several hours. And this just really has a great throw. It's not a candle that I want to burn every day. It's more of like a, I have to be in the mood to burn it. And like that day, I just was really wanting to burn that candle. So I did get through quite a bit of it that from that one burn because it was several hours. But I won't, I guess this one, I'm just going to wait to burn till I like I'm in the mood to burn this particular time. But I was kind of anticipating when I started this project that this would be more of a type of like a spring type of candle because it's a very like fresh kind of like grassy sort of scent. So I did make some progress with this candle. And then the only other candle I made progress with was this Verbena basil candle. And this came in a set. So it's this little votive candle with a little candle holder and this like home fragrance like reed diffuser thing. So I have both of these on my nightstand and really the only time when I burn this candle is if I'm reading before like I go to bed, which I haven't been reading that much lately so I haven't used that this, this candle that much. But this does, like when I was first burning it, it kind of burned itself out. It's kind of at a good point now that it doesn't do that. And this has a really, really great scent. And I'm not sure about the throw of it because when I burn it, I'm sitting right, like right next to it so I can smell it really well. But I'm really enjoying this. And I really need to read more so that I use this candle more often. But I definitely, I started this, like opened this and started burning the candle like right after like I had started my project wax. I've used, been using it for about a month, but it's been kind of inconsistent use. So I haven't actually burned it that many times, but I really like this on my nightstand. Also the reed diffuser thing, the home fragrance. I'm not sure what these, I think like I have not used one of these before. So I think all of the actual like scent product will like get evaporated. I'm not sure how long that is going to take. Um, but with this in particular thing, if this isn't completely used up in like the four months or like five months of this project, I'm not going to like have the project be, um, hinging on this if it's not used up by that point. But I really like having this on my nightstand. It smells really nice and they're super cute together on my nightstand. So I've really been enjoying using these and these I've gotten like as a gift and like I'm like it's too nice to use I don't want to use it so it just sat in the box for like I think I have had those for like maybe a year and a half like I can't, I had to stop doing that like if I get stuff I have to use it versus having it like sit in a box in a drawer because it's like too nice to use because that just doesn't make any sense so really been enjoying using these and this is my only kind of votive candle in this project so this if it takes me the whole time to use this up that's completely fine because there's not another candle that I would be using after I use this for like that purpose so made some progress on that and that is pretty much it those are the only candles I've used up or I've even burnt everything else I haven't even touched so I will just quickly run through the rest of the candles that I have in this so I have this one which is Vols Pespa. It's from Anthropology. Volespa. I'll have everything listed below. Um, but this is the persimmon scent. And I've used about half of it. So this one was used. I haven't burnt this at all since I started the Project Wax. So I started off the Project Wax and this was about half used up. But this one I'm going to be saving more for spring summer. Um, so that one haven't made any progress with yet. I also have this candle. This is just like an unscented, like random candle. I don't really like unscented candles. And I wouldn't burn this by itself. I would burn it with something else because it is unscented. I just haven't really figured out like when or how I really want to use this. But I haven't made any progress on that, obviously. 
And then I have four more Bath & Body Works candles. I have the Champagne Toast, which most likely I will be burning this candle once I use up my Peach Bellini. So as I said, I'm trying to burn these kind of seasonally. So I first started with the winter scents. Now I'm on to New Year scents, which really, New Year scents, like that doesn't really make any sense. But burning these next. And then I'm planning to burn my Provence candles, which I have citron cedarwood and wild poppies. So I haven't touched these at all in the past month. And then my last candle that I'll burn is turquoise waters which is definitely I'm trying to save till you know end of spring early summer so that is my project with my my progress with my project wax if you guys are doing this project definitely let me know and I hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching bye